Hi Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for Aquarius, Summer Rising Venus. We'll be taking a look into the week ahead to see what messages need to come through for you guys. Get some insight, wisdom, guidance, and overall see what's going on for Aquarius, Summer Rising Venus. I hope that you're doing well. If you want to follow me over on my other social media, I do have Instagram and TikTok, both at Jade Stone Tarot, so you can find me over there. But let's get right into this reading, see what messages Spirit has for you, get some insight, wisdom, guidance, overall see what the hell is going on for Aquarius, Summer Rising Venus for the week ahead what are the messages for my aquarians whoa the cards be speaking we have take a break life's a life's work not a season what a life's work <laughs> wait can i read a life's work not a season get off the treadmill okay read before whatever the fuck okay shut up <laughs> okay messages for i'm in a funny mood today messages for aquarius summer nice and venus for the week ahead <clears throat> Messages for Aquarius, Summer Nights and Venus for the week ahead. We got Pillar of Light that came out for Capricorn. You may have Capricorn placements in your chart. You may want to listen to their reading. It was really good. It's really good. So if you got any Capricorn placements, definitely give it a listen. And align your life. Okay. So for the week ahead, Aquarius, you need to take a break. You've been working hard. You've been putting in so much energy and effort. And you've been on the run, not on, on the run. <laughs> you've just been on the go. You've been like, go, 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 go. You've been keeping your head in the game, focused as fuck. And I respect that, you know, you've been on the go. But it's important that you take time out to rest. You don't overwork yourself because if you keep on pushing yourself, you know, you might be forced to sit your ass down. Right, and this happens in many ways, whether you're running late and you're rushing, you're like, oh, fuck, and then you get a flat tire, uh, or you're, oh, shit, I ran out of gas, <laughs> like, you, you're busy, and you're like, oh, my God, I gotta keep going, I gotta keep going, and you twist your ankle, or, like, you know, you're working out, working out every fucking day, and you pull a muscle, like, just know when to rest and take a break and don't push yourself past your limits otherwise the universe has a funny way of making us slow down right oh you caught a cold now you feel run down or you have low energy it's like really just like listen to what your body needs okay take a break let yourself rest do not feel guilty for it you know you might give yourself a day off and you're in your head you're feeling restless you're feeling stressed and anxious like oh i should be doing this i should be doing this today was just a waste it's like when you give yourself a break and your mind is saying all these things you're not resting you're not resting and that's your ego playing these tricks on you and what is that illusions okay that's not helping you grow that's not helping you in any way it's just making you feel late like you're literally like oh my god i'm so lazy i took today off it's like you need to have rest you can't always be on the go you have to take time to smell the roses <laughs> all right this says what is not aligned or needs to change so there are some things in your life that you are reflecting on realizing like i need to make some adjustments or i need to let this go or, i need to remove this from my life whatever the case is there are some adjustments that are needed before you can move forward so maybe like i said take that break maybe take some time to go meditate go out in nature calm your mind think about some things and then take the action move forward it's all good um pillar of light your vibration is rising you are the oracle so you are making a difference there are changes even though you might not be seeing the changes physically in your life or maybe you haven't been seeing results instantly like there is a lot of shifts going on behind the scenes that you're just not aware of but with time they're going to start to reveal themselves you're going to start to see your efforts and your vibration is rising as it's rising things around you may not be resonating with you any longer relationships environments old mindsets beliefs um you know even certain music that you might be listening to <laughs> you know you're realizing oh i don't really like this or i'm just i'm kind of sick of it i'm getting old maybe <laughs> the most random message is like sort through your music playlist get rid of some songs <laughs> the most random message but i'm just saying like you go through these changes these stages and you outgrow some things people music foods like it's all good just get rid of whatever doesn't resonate with you okay okay <coughs> excuse me you know do a little declutter clear out your space throw some shit out go through your wardrobe you know what 
do you not wear anymore? What's to donate? What's to get rid of? Make some space, okay? That's the vibe I'm getting. It's like, make some space. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm like a bit of a tickle in my throat. So please bear with me. It's very annoying, but you live, you learn. I don't fucking know. Let's pull some tarot messages. See what's going on for Aquarius, Summer Nising Venus for the week ahead. The next seven days, show me clearly. What are the messages for Aquarius, Summer Nising Venus for this upcoming week? Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, the Six of Swords. Okay, after some struggles, some difficult times, feeling much more at peace, feeling much more in harmony, positive about the future. What is this? We have the Two of Swords <coughs> coming out. So you do some choices to make. Maybe you're at a crossroad right now. You're not quite sure what to do or how to handle a situation. I'm um, not taking that, but we'll take this. We have the Eight of Wands reverse. Okay. Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords reverse. It looks like there's getting... There's some sort of clarity or secret being revealed. Hold on, what is this? Bottom of the deck, seven of pentacles with the world, eight of cups. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So, there is some sort of crossroad that you're at here with the two of swords. A choice needs to be made. And until you make this choice, something isn't moving like, there's no movement regarding something. Don't know what exactly. We're going to clarify. We have a lot of swords. And then fire. And we have the eight of wands reverse indicating, like, there's no movement. There's no movement till you make some sort of choice or you take some sort of action. Six of swords. So, honestly, if I were to kind of lay out these cards, we have the eight of wands reverse. So, right now, there's no movement. You're needing to take a break. Don't take any action towards whatever this is. We're going to find out when we clarify. Okay, because I don't what what this is. Not 100% sure. There's some sort of choice. There's there's a crossroad that you're at right now. You have to make some sort of choice, some sort of decision. And you might be going back and forth and you're not quite sure what exactly to do or how to handle this situation. How do what do you say? What do you you know? You're at a crossroad and you're not really sure. There's indecision. I'm picking up on this indecision. You're waiting to get some sort of clarity, right? Notice the sun in this card. You're waiting for clarity. You're waiting for some sort of truth. Now, maybe you recently have gotten the truth. We did just have the full moon in Libra. We're also approaching eclipse season. So if you are trying to get clarity on a situation or trying to figure something out and you're waiting for that news or that confirmation or that, uh, that truth or illumination or whatever the fuck, you're going to be getting that clarity even if it's not this week, it's definitely going to be within this next month, within April. We have eclipse season coming. It's approaching us. So if there's something that you're like, I don't really know how I feel about this situation or this person, what to do or what choice to make about this situation, just wait. Don't make any decisions until you're 100% sure. It does look like you're going to be getting clarity though. Seven of Swords reverse. Okay, so something that's been hidden or something that, you know, hasn't been... <laughs> revealed it's gonna reveal itself we're gonna find out what is being revealed here here now maybe this is something that you've been keeping kind of quiet on the <coughs> oh my god please bear with me <coughs> this is there's something that's been hidden and now maybe this is you maybe you've been keeping something to yourself you've been keeping something on the down low you've been just kind of hush hush about something hmm but I don't know. We're going to have to figure out what did it. We're going to clarify. <laughs> We're going to clarify, okay? We also have the Five of Swords coming out. This is more of like a self-destructive energy in this deck specifically. Not necessarily dealing with others, but more just about like yourself. So we'll have to see how that ties in. Now, if this is like self-destruction, self-sabotage, that needs to change your need to make some sort of adjustments you need to sit down with your thoughts and feelings and ask yourself why do i feel this way where does this stem from what actions what choices no what steps <laughs> what steps do i need to take so that i can unlearn these behaviors these patterns these beliefs um 
working backwards you know so there's a little bit of that self-destructive energy or just not like lack of having trust within yourself like let's say you have an important decision to make and you're going back and forth because you're not sure you're not you're having a hard time trusting your ability to make a decision right so in a way you could be sabotaging yourself um it does look like though after you take that time to take a break to recalibrate get clear with your thoughts waiting for clarity waiting for more answers more information to reveal itself then you'll make the choice then you'll move forward six of swords okay so right now you're kind of in the thick of it right now you see the bottom <coughs> you're kind of going through that maybe right now you're not quite sure where you're going or what's going on what to choose or how to handle this situation but just give it some time. Let the dust settle. Let the dust settle and the truth is going to reveal itself or the best possible path will reveal itself. Right now, things are a little chaotic, a little bit stressful, a little un unclear. Just wait, okay? Right now, you need to get off the treadmill, sit your ass down, calm the mind. There's a lot of illusion. There is a lot of illusion going on. <laughs> Your mind's playing tricks. You're maybe over over analyzing, overthinking a situation. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Seven of Pentacles, the world. Some of you are making the decision to. Oh, is this the seven or sorry, six of Pentacles? <coughs> For some reason, I always read this as a seven. Um, new deck. There is some sort of cycle that is reaching completion or closure. You could be making the decision to leave or like let something go or walk away from something, right? Maybe this is relation to what is not aligning with you. And you're reflecting about this with the hangman and the four of swords. Wow. And these ten of wands. You're feeling very burdened by something. So I feel like, again, it's relating to this choice or this decision. So I think that this choice is about letting something go. We even have death. <laughs> we even have death out here so there is the energy of something in your life reaching its peak <clears throat> like it's kind of reaching its end and you know it's coming you know it's inevitable you know you need to let this go or to you know leave this relationship or leave this job or leave this this period of your life you know that time is coming and it's only a matter of time before you're going to have to close that door like a door is closing out of your life again it could be a relationship there's a lot of like swords so this could be relating to like your thoughts or your feelings <clears throat> or it's like hold on we do have the eight of cups which could be talking about a relationship so whatever the case is something in your life is it's closing out and I don't really feel like you're resisting it. I feel like you're very much aware that something is coming to an end. And like you're kind of questioning or you're going back and forth um, about this decision to leave this behind. You're reflecting on it heavily. Hang man with the four of swords trying to get clarity. Like, should I stay? Should I go? Um, and it's, it is burdening you. Ten of wands. You're feeling stressed out about this. You're feeling restless about this. You're feeling anxious about this. But deep down, you already know in your gut the like what you need to do. Or you already know the answer. You've just been having doubts and worries and what ifs. And so you haven't fully acted on this because you're not 100% sure. So I always suggest like just wait until like you're the most certain. So if you're not 100% sure, if you keep going back and forth, then just hold off from making any um, important decisions until like you are very certain. Don't make any um, long-term decisions based off temporary feelings. I also say that a lot. Um, keep that in mind when it comes to whatever this choice is. <coughs> Let's pull some more cards and then we'll do some clarifying. But I wanted to see if there's any other messages that Spirit wants you to be aware of for the week ahead. But yeah, um, you'll be getting the clarity. Look at that card flying out. You'll be getting the clarity you need in order to make this choice. Judgment reverse coming out. <clears throat> you're making some sort of judgment call. You're also needing to trust your discernment. And another thing that I'm picking up on is like a repetition of past patterns or past cycles or old lessons. So there could be the possibility of repeating a cycle or <clears throat> yeah, I'm picking up on that energy of like repeating something 
or that just might just be you guys making the decision to remove something from your life you're not interested in a second chance you're not interested in trying to make this work there's a couple ways we can read that i honestly need a little bit more cards <coughs> Ooh, fucking tickle in my throat is fucking me off <laughs> got me fucked up messages for aquarius for the week ahead what are the messages for aquarius that you need to know any insight with some guidance for Aquarius, summarizing Venus. <clears throat> Messages for Aquarius, summarizing Venus for the week ahead. Okay, wow. We have the Two of Cups. This is about a relationship. And the Six of Pentacles. Two of Wands. So this is a so this choice, overall, this choice about like the situation. I think it's relating to a relationship. Hmm. Messages for Aquarius, summarizing Venus. We have the Father of Pentacles, <clears throat> Ace of Swords reversed. You don't have the full, you don't see the full scope of the situation just yet. Okay. Messages for Aquarius. We also have the Nine of Cups, Daughter of Swords. And give me one more. Thank you, Mother of Cups. Lots of like people energy, or like not a lot, just a fair amount. Like, you know. <clears throat> okay so yeah there we got two 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 so decision 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 you have a big choice to make about what is no longer in alignment with you um for some this is a job for some this is a relationship for some this is friendship for some this is someone you're romantically involved with it doesn't matter but at um like you are trying to decide what do i need to remove from my life right so you have some choices to make and you don't have full clarity to make these choices just yet, right? So even with judgment being reversed, maybe your judgment's a little off or again, like you're not seeing the full scope of the situation. Ace of Swords reversed. You don't have full clarity um, on these choices. So we'll look into like what will give you the clarity you need. Now you're over, I want to say you're over analyzing something with the Daughter of Swords. She's very observant. She notices all the details of everything. Like she, I'm almost like you could be looking back at old conversations, old memories, um, revisiting things from your past. Like you're in this heavy reflection mode of like trying to put the pieces together about the situation. And like the information that you're getting weighs, helps you weigh out this choice. Or like um, you're hoping like as you look back at these past experiences you'll get more information you'll be able to put the pieces together that will help you make this choice i don't know if that's the actual truth though but like you're looking at these you're looking at all the details pulling out all those receipts trying to use that evidence i want to say evidence to like back up this choice that you're making you're really needing to rely on your intuition that's the thing about what i've been picking up in this reading you're relying on your logic you're being very analytical about an emotional situation like i kind of feel like you need to follow your heart you need to follow what feels right to you not like you know obviously use your logic weigh in your logic find the balance between your logic and your intuition okay because your logic might not just be the full truth because we have the ace of swords reverse like you know like something is telling me like you don't have full clarity to make this decision so just again just wait before making this choice i just want to say i can't stress this enough aquarius but before you make this choice just wait because i feel like there's still pieces to the puzzle that you don't have yet there's information that is yet to be revealed it will be revealed very soon this week or within the next couple weeks okay like i said it's eclipse season so you're gonna be getting fucking clarity on these choices or this big choice because it's either a couple choices that you have to make or it's one big choice to make okay and it's, it's not something small and insignificant it's gonna create a ripple for some reason i'm picking up it's, it will create a ripple um, so you're really needing to take your time when it comes to making this choice for whatever reason I'm getting like you might just be sabotaging yourself or like feeling like you're undeserving or unworthy or like, you know, overthinking 
overthinking something. I really am picking up like you could be overthinking something or reading into a situation and like thinking something's the truth, but it's actually not. Like something about the truth not actually being what you think it is. Like there's something that's going over your head. <laughs> You're missing important details or important details are yet to be revealed. And let's just like, don't make any decisions just yet. Just wait. Just I'm like, I keep getting that strongly. Okay. So just hold off wait okay we do have the nine of cups out here indicating like you know outside of the situation you're feeling pretty positive emotionally you're feeling really in tune and in harmony with yourself or that's what you're moving towards with the six of swords you're moving towards more harmony more peace feeling just grounded in control and again we have the lunar energy showing up in this card representing your intuition okay you might also be trying to seek out advice from like a friend or someone that you trust or someone that um, you really look up to or someone who inspires you, someone who like makes you feel safe. Like you're maybe relying on like a mother figure or like someone like more of like a feminine energy to like support you or give you advice or something. I am picking up on that energy with the mother of cups. Almost like, you know, you're venting to a friend and they're giving you some sort of support or advice or insight, you know? Because right now, the Father of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, like, you don't have the full scope, okay? So, before we wrap up this reading, let's let's do a little digging. <laughs> let's do a little... Look, see, Six of Cups as well at the bottom. It's just like, see, you're revisiting, looking back at the past past memories trying to get clarity trying to figure out what do i do about this um <coughs> seven of swords reverse let's take a look as to like what is being revealed seven of swords reverse what will be revealed for to aquarius what will be revealed to aquarius what is being revealed <coughs> what is being revealed for aquarius could be someone's intentions, but let's see. Tell me the Seven of Swords reverse for Aquarius. What's being revealed? What's being revealed for Aquarius? We have Strength and the Seven of Pentacles. Leo energy could be dealing with a Leo. Oh, we got a card on the ground, Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. What's being revealed? Seven of Swords reverse for Aquarius. Three of Wands. Nine of Wands at the bottom. <clears throat> so. I kind of want to pull a couple more, to be honest, you guys. Hold on. I just want to make sure I have the full scopity scoopity whoop you know <laughs> wait let me get like just a couple more because i'm like hold on this is not gonna be the full thing oh son of swords okay perfect mother of swords and the ten of wands okay so there's those burden and look justice at the bottom balance is being brought to the situation great i love that it looks like look at this look at this look at this look at this there could be some sort of conversation being had communication taking place so either you could be taking on some sort of like communication like initiating something and if it's not you then it's um, communication coming towards you but it will bring this clarity like i feel like someone has something someone has something someone wow that might feel like my words all of a sudden made no sense someone has something to say that they've been keeping to themselves or they have been like holding back their feelings or holding back their truth and i feel like this is going to give you the clarity you need to make this choice whatever this choice or choices are okay like it, the, you're going to be getting some sort of truth there will be some sort of conversation or someone will finally be speaking up about how they feel um and that creates change wheel of fortune so whatever is being revealed allows you to make that choice or allows you to move forward from this right right now you're kind of at this standstill unsure what to do don't see the full truth don't know how to handle the situation or how to move forwards, right? There's a lot of reevaluating, reevaluating going on here. Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. These are both very similar energies, um, and the fact that this is coming out clarifying with the Seven of Swords is like 
Seven of Swords reversed. It's like you're reevaluating a situation in your life and you're like questioning, okay, okay, I either keep investing in this and it grows and it's what I want or maybe there's some adjustments I need to make or I need to let this go and then I need to move in a different direction. Whatever the case is, whatever it is that you're deciding on, you will get clarity as to how to move forward or how to, again, whatever these choices or choice is about, you will get the clarity you need. But right now, you don't have that clarity. Right now, you're still going back and forth. You're like, I don't know. I need more information. You will get more information. We have strength out here, Leo energy, and the sun is showing up in this card, indicating something is being illuminated. Just hold on. Be patient, okay? There's this restless energy I'm picking up from you where you're feeling restless. You're in your head. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to say. Oh, my God. I'm running out of time. I didn't make up my mind. Just wait. Just wait <laughs> you're gonna get your clarity you're gonna get your truth and it'll help you make this choice okay um <clears throat> and we also have that 10 of wands again like feeling burdened by this feeling burdened what do i do i like i have this choice i'm back and forth one day i'm yes one day i'm no i don't fucking know so just wait okay just wait <laughs> just wait <laughs> okay wait let it reveal itself to you. You will get the clarity. Clarity is coming. The truth is coming. That will help you make this choice right now. Wait, okay? This week is not... Until you get this clarity, don't make any decision just yet. Until you get, you know, have that conversation or clear the air or whatever, just wait. Just wait, okay? That's just the message that just keeps coming through. And I don't really feel like clarifying anything else. We don't have much time. So I think we'll leave it here. But you guys, Aquarius... You have a big important decision or decision to make up. You're not sure what to do right now. Wait, take a break. You don't have to have it all figured out just right now. Okay, focus on clearing your mind. Get in tune with your intuition and also let things people reveal their true intentions, feelings. Let it be revealed. It will reveal itself. Give it some time. Be patient let it unfold okay because right now you don't have all the information to make this choice this decision clearly so just wait <laughs> okay just wait just wait just wait just wait spirit says just fucking wait put on the brakes okay put on the brakes just wait observe observe okay because something there's some illusions okay I'm going to let you guys go. We're going to leave the reading here. If you found this helpful and insightful, please let me know in the comments below. If you want to follow me over on my other social media, I do have Instagram and TikTok, both at Jade Stone Tarot, so you can find me over there. And I'm going to let you go. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.